Okay, um, so next I will touch on Google Analytics. Um, so right now in the admin, um, some of you do already have a Google account set up um, and it's updating all the traffic into your account. But what we've done is we've integrated that directly into the admin. Um, so here's a little preview of what this would look like. Um, so to set this up on your site, first thing you wanna do is go to analytics.google.com and you'll either want to log into your existing site or create a new one from scratch. Um, since a lot of you do already have Google Analytics set up, I would strongly suggest to double check that you know you have access to that account because that's going to have all of your previous data that you've been tracking. Um, so if you're not sure if you have it set up on your account, you can always shoot us an email, uh, web at prestosports.com, uh, and we, we can verify if that's there for you. Um, so once you do log into your account or create the new one, first thing you want to do is get your tracking code. So here, go ahead and click on settings. Tracking info, and then tracking code. Um, so on this page, what you need to do is just copy and paste all this text you see right here, and go ahead and email that over to us. So we'll get that set up on your site, um, and just send it to web at prestosports.com. And then once we confirm that this is set up, you can then move on to the next step, which is um, syncing it all together in the admin. So <clears throat> once we give you the go ahead, um, you're in your Google Analytics account. Go ahead and click all website data up here at the top. Um, some of you might have multiple accounts, so make sure you select the correct one right here. And then over here in this third column, you're going to see this. Uh, typically, it's a nine digit number. Um, so you're going to want to copy that number. So once you copy that, you'll come over here into your website admin, into the website, and then into traffic. And you're going to see this message with instructions. Um, we do have instructions how to find your view ID if you forget. Um, but what you'll do is you'll just click this link right here and you're just going to paste in that ID number. Um, so here you'll just take, paste that in exactly how you see it uh, within your Google and Analytics account. And then once you do that, the page is going to update. Most of that text will go away and you're going to see this um, orange access Google Analytics button. So from here, just go ahead and click that button and it's going to walk you through the process to uh, basically sync and approve your accounts um, so that all that data will then show uh, within your admin. Okay, so once you complete all of that, I'm going to skip back over here to my example site. You're going to see all that traffic populate um, on your page. So there's a couple items I'll just kind of point out on this page. Uh, the first three tabs we'll go through is users, page views, and unique visitors. Um, these three tabs are a really good way to just get a general overview of the traffic on your website. Um, so when you're in this users tab, uh, two things here. Uh, you'll show users and new users. Um, so a user is defined as a visitor who's um, initiated a session on your site. So the moment a person lands on your website, um, they're identified as a user. Um, so a new user versus a user is all based on, based on browser cookies on your website. Um, so here you can customize the different date ranges um, and we do show two charts side by side. So this will allow you to do two different date ranges. You can kind of compare back and forth, um, see how you did, you know, maybe last year at the same time compared to this year or even month to month. All right, next we have our page views tab. Um, so this is just simply the total number of views you're receiving. Um, so one thing to note here is that repeated views of a single page are counted towards your totals. Um, so all the page views are counted no matter how many times a user has visited uh, the site in a given period of time. Okay, next over here, um, we have our unique visitors. Um, so this is gonna show, uh, highlight your sessions. Um, so a session would be like the total number of visits to your site, which would be both new and repeats. Um, so for example, if you have one person comes to your site 100 different times, um, that would count as one new or one user, um, but then 100 different sessions. Uh, so just kind of keep all those in mind um, as you're kind of looking through this data. Um, but all three of these tabs will give you that nice two chart setup where you can, you know, adjust those dates and do some comparisons there. Um, so this information is really good just for, you know, some, like I said, some basic data, um, you know, really useful for your sponsors, whether you're, you know, trying to land a new sponsor or just updating uh, your existing sponsor on how site and traffic is doing. Um, or, you know, just use it, you know, for internally or for your own use. Um, you know, you can learn big trends for the weekend uh, or le learn trends for like a big weekend. So maybe you have a final four or, you know, alumni weekend. You can kind of 
look and see how traffic dips going up to the event and then kind of or spikes going up to the event and then dips once the event is kind of over. Um, so just kind of use that to help you manage your website um, or maybe you're in here looking and you see you know a random you know spike that you weren't expecting. Um, you can just kind of dig into that a little more see what's going on to just kind of help you manage the site um, and the traffic going forward. Okay next coming over here um, we have our traffic tab. So this is going to list out a bunch of pages on your site and it's going to just show you your page views, your new page views, and the average time on your page. Um, so you can sort all of these columns um, depending on which information you want to look at and you can also filter it by date. Um, so this can be really useful um, if you uh, to see which you know pages are getting the most views, which pages are getting least views. So with most views it can be really helpful um, so you can see what's keeping people on your site the longest. You know, what pages will lead them to uh, continue on to other pages. Um, just help you produce more content that your fans are really enjoying um, and want to stay on. Uh, and then least page views, um, you know, maybe you have a really important page that you're expecting a lot of people to look at, stay on for a longer amount of time, you know, especially with all these new, you know, COVID back to, you know, procedures, all this stuff. Um, you know, you're noticing them not really paying a lot of attention. This could tell you a couple things about it. Maybe the page is hard to find, um, or maybe it's just, you know, not super useful to the, the fan or the user. Um, so you can kind of use that to make some adjustments um, to your website. Uh, maybe move some things above the fold, make it easier to access, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, throughout this um, presentation, you know, we're just going to, I'll point out what's currently here in the admin. Um, and at the end, I'll kind of dive into the actual Google Ana Analytics account a little bit more. Um, but there's a ton of stuff in the Analytics account. Um, and one thing that can also be really helpful is if your site has a search feature, um, one really cool thing is you can kind of dig into those those results and see what page people are searching for the most. Um, so if people are searching for, you know, a composite page, um, you know, they have to go up to your search. Maybe, you know, that's something you could, you know, adjust into your global navigation, have more an obvious link for it somewhere. Um, so it just kind of helps with that kind of thing. Okay, next we have usage by platform. Um, so this one's kind of obvious, desktop, mobile, tablet tablet, um, just determine which channels are driving um, traffic to your website. Um, again, here you can adjust with the date ranges um, to see those different views. And then we have geolocation. Um, so basically, you know, where your visitors are coming from can help you form your different marketing strategies. Um, you know, this can help with recruiting as well. So just kind of gives you some general information there. Um, again, once you hop into your actual Google Analytics account um, on their site, um, we t there's a lot more information too about your your visitors, um, age, gender, interest, all that good stuff. Um, so you definitely hop into there um, to get more. Okay, so coming over here, I'm just going to point out a couple of different things that could be really useful. Um, like I said, you know, right now we have just the standard six tabs, but as you continue to use Google Analytics, um, you know, maybe you see something that's super helpful, or you're really you're always going to the analytics account to get the same information. Um, you know, this is something we're still evolving. Um, so if there's something you really want to see, you know, definitely share that with us and we can, um, you, know, work, you know, look into, you know, adjusting what data is actually shown within the admin um, and help make it easier for you guys. Okay, um, so one really cool thing, a couple of things I want to point out here, um, acquisition over here on the left-hand column. Um, so when you come over here and come to the overview page, um, this will highlight how people found your site, um, how they got to it. So Google searches, social, you know, directly from social media, maybe they're typing in your URL directly. Um, so this will really help you, you market your site. Um, and you can also come over here to all traffics and channels. Um, and this will break it down for you even more. Um, so, you know, maybe you're noticing you're not getting a ton of traffic from social media. So you can kind of, it'll help you um, with your targeting. Um, you know, you could spend a little bit more time on social media, directing people to your website. Um, another item they point out here is your bounce rate. So basically, if someone's coming to your site, um, they're only visiting one page and then just leaving. Um, you know, that, that can tell you a lot. Um, so maybe they're coming to your site and not finding what they're looking for. Um, so typically they say around 70%. Um, if you're having a 70% bounce rate, that could be a little bit concerning. Um, so um, something to pay attention to. Um, and Google Analytics does a really great job of kind of diving into this a little bit. 
um, gives you really detailed reports. Um, another thing to point out here is, you know, we're throwing a lot of terms at you. Maybe you're not super familiar with it. Uh, they also do a great job. You'll see these little question marks everywhere where you can kind of, you know, mouse over these and, you know, figure out exactly what term means. Okay, um, next we will come over here um, into social media. So I kind of touched on that before, um, but let's, let's come to overview. Uh, but yeah, so social media is a really great way to drive people to your site um, and it can help you with determining which platforms you should focus on. Maybe you need more posts on one versus the other, or maybe you need to you know, focus on some ads. It's really uh, helps you figure all that stuff out. So here they'll break it down into all the different uh, social networks and give you more information there. Okay, next we will come over here to behavior. So really um, understanding your visitors can really help you improve your site. Um, so, you know, this will behavior section will tell you what pages they come to first on your site. Um, maybe, you know, they start on one page, what they tend to click to the most um, and how long they spend their time, what's the most important to them. Um, one thing I think is really cool here is just behavior flow. So it's just a nice little chart that will, you know, show you they'll start on your landing index and where most of your users are clicking to. So maybe over here, um, on this second interaction. A lot of people are coming to like maybe your composite file. Um, so if you're seeing a lot of people are having to click a couple times to get there, it might be really, you know, like we mentioned before, nice to, you know, make that composite link a little more obvious to the user. Um, so you can really study this behavior flow um, to help optimize your website. All right, and then, you know, throughout all of this Google Analytics account, if you scroll up to the top, they have these insights. Um, so this is a really great tool, just get some of the common, um, you know, they call it on-demand information. So it's, a, they break it down into really easy to understand, uh, like questions um, that you can come in here and search. So you can just, you know, come in all these different topics and they have these preset questions um, that you can kind of just come through and learn about your traffic and your site. Um, they also have this search feature up top. So maybe you want to learn more about bounce rate. Um, so you can click search bounce and either go directly to some of the reports or come right over here into the insights. Um, so once you, oops, let me come back home and search my bounce. Um, but yeah, so once you search this over here on the right, um, you know, it'll just give you some basic information over here, but then you can kind of break it down into these follow-up questions. So like I said, lots of information over here. Um, you could really dive into it. Um, so, you know, as you're working on it, please, you know, let us know what you like, what you don't like, um, and that'll help us, you know, improve the admin portion of our traffic reports. Okay, so I will just pause for a moment. Um, Keith, do we have any questions so far? Does anyone have any questions on what I've covered um, so far with um, our links and our tra uh, traffic? Katie, no questions so far, um, except for Someone just was asking if they could also still log into Google Analytics separately. So that yeah. answered yes. And, and we encourage you to do that and find some insights you're still using there and help us um, build some new ones out in our, in our own panel. Awesome. 